This next gentleman, William Shakespeare, once referred to him as a bosom buddy. Please welcome to the stage, Akshay Sharma! Have you ever been uh, given a criticism by someone starting with the words, you know, your problem is, you know those kinds of criticisms? Your problem is so-and-so, your problem is you're an asshole, your problem is you don't get enough sex, whatever it is. Well, people used to tell me, uh, people used to tell me, my problem is that I can't see the forest for the trees. You ever heard that one? I can't see the forest for the trees. And okay, I admit, it's true, sometimes I can't see the forest for the trees, all right? Yeah, I admit that. But in my defense, it's not my fault. I mean, it's not my fault I can't see the forest for the trees. Did you ever think maybe the reason I can't see the forest for the trees is because I have a fucking forest growing out of my face? Did you ever think about that? <laughs> Jeez, it's hard to see when you got a forest growing out of your fucking face. Yeah, so, uh, I see a lot of ethnic diversity in the audience. Um, it's great. Toronto's a very ethnically diverse city now. It's hard to imagine that just but 25 years ago, some minorities were um, uh, referred to with you know, certain, um, should we say, raci racist slur nicknames. I'm East Indian, so um, I had my share of uh, you know, racial slurs out in the schoolyard when I was growing up. Um, of course, back then, I wasn't the uh, muscular uh, Mr. Mr. Universe proportion individual that you see before you today. But anyway, um, an aunt of mine. An aunt of mine, and by aunt I mean a woman who I met at a family function who I never wanted to go to in the first place, once gave me this advice. She said to me, Akshay, if somebody call you Paki, you tell to them that you're from India, not Pakistan. <laughs> really happened. Okay, first of all, somebody who's ignorant enough to shout racial slurs at you is not going to stop and rethink his position just because you clarify the political boundaries of your country of origin. All right? I mean, you could be made of sugar and molasses, okay? And hail from a box of Lucky Charms cereal. It makes no difference. And second of all, what, what was my aunt expecting? That they would like, because suddenly become apologetic and accommodating, just because I said, "Oh, I'm from India, not from Pakistan." I can imagine it now. It's like, be like, "Well, don't I feel like the world's biggest ass?" <laughs> hey, guys, come on. Uh, you know what, guys? We gotta be ashamed of ourselves, really. You know what? Let's put down the rocks and and ice pellets we were about to whip at his face. Get down on our knees and beg his forgiveness. Yo, dog, really sorry? Please accept our humblest apologies as you pass freely by us while we refrain from stealing your lunch money and then punching and kicking the shit out of you. Oh, and uh, speaking of money, here, don't worry, take ours. Take ours, and you know what? Anytime you need some money for anything whatsoever, it doesn't matter, just come see us. We'll hook you up, yo. Man, you just know, you just know that was never gonna happen. Oh, man. I've been taking a lot of acting classes lately. Uh, any actors in the house? Woo! Like one person, two people. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, because I figure, because I figure that um, if this uh, stand-up thing doesn't work out, I will have the more stable and secure acting profession to fall back on. Yeah. Yeah, there are a lot of different names for actors, uh, which I'm sure you've heard of. Despians, players, cocaine addicts, alcoholics, and of course, the classic waiters. We, however, prefer the term, the more politically correct term, employmentally challenged. <laughs> my parents, my parents were too ashamed to come today, by the way, so I got uh, a lookalike, winners of a lookalike contest to come instead, sitting right over there, give them a hand. Look at what's in my parents, ladies and gentlemen. My parents were absolutely thrilled. My parents were absolutely thrilled um, when I uh, came out of the closet with my acting. And they were so thrilled, in fact, that uh, they refused to acknowledge me as their son in public. Eventually, they finally realized that I wasn't going to change my, uh, my mind. So they said to me, 
Okay, I'll show you do the acting, but just train for a more reliable, uh, reliable job so that if the acting doesn't pan out, you at least have the secure income of a more traditional profession to fall back on. So I thought about it and I thought, you know, that makes sense, that's right, you know? I'm going to take my parents' advice. Damn it, I'm going to take my parents' advice. I'm going to go perform stand-up comedy for no money whatsoever at Absolute Comedy Club today. Yeah. Thank you. Anyone, um, anyone hungry? Anyone hungry here? Yeah, I'm a little hungry myself. The real shit happens when I get really, really hungry. Then what happens down there is my stomach turns into uh, Al Pacino from the movie Dog Day Afternoon. Anyone seen that movie? And my stomach suddenly turns into Al Pacino. It'll be like, hey, brain! Yeah, I'm yelling at you, you overrated, overthinking jerk off. Yeah, give me some food down here. No, not at dinner time, right fucking now. And, um, oh yeah, and get me something greasy, salty, and loaded with calories, or I make your liver my bitch. Oh yeah, I'm gonna release some gastric acid all over this detoxifying fucker. You don't hurry up. And don't send me any fruits, uh, don't send me any fruits and vegetables. Forget about all the healthy crap you love. Uh, you love. I'm not down with that. Don't send me any fruits and vegetables. I ain't digesting that shit. And you send me down a salad, and I swear, I'll blow off one organ for every piece of lettuce I see floating down that fucking esophagus. You got that? Yeah. Hey, hurry up. You're running out of time. Don't make me set off a grenade in the, in the large intestine. Then you're gonna have some real shitty smelly mess to clean up there. And oh, by the way, tell your aunt to shut up and call me a getaway plane loaded with junk food going to India, not Pakistan. So I don't have to listen to her crap and I don't have to look at your ugly, snake-like mug ever again. But thank you, that's my time. That's really good. Thank you.